Although choosing Chimchar as your starter Pokemon is a good option to take, you might find that you're struggling in the first gym. How's it going everyone, my name is JJ and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to defeat the first gym very easily when choosing Chimchar on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So when you get to All Ball City you have the opportunity to face the first gym which is a rock type gym and having Chimchar means uh, that it's going to be weak to that gym. Now at level 12 Chimchar will learn a move called Power Up Punch. Now what that move does is a physical fighting move and fighting type moves are super effective against the first gym which is what we need. Here you can see I've just leveled up my Chimchar to level 12. Now what Power Up Punch also does is, is after it's used it also increases your attack stat. So providing you don't switch your Pokemon out it will then get an increase in its attack. So with that being said it can, uh, it can be very useful for this first gym. Now on top of this at level 14 Chimchar will then evolve into Monferno and Monferno is a fire fighting Pokemon and on top of that it will also learn Mock Punch which is a physical fighting move that's a priority move as well meaning it will always go first. Ideally as well when you're taking on this first gym you want your Pokemon to be around level 14 whether you've got Turtwig, Chimchar or Piplup. So having Monferno at level 14 is ideal and then on top of that it will also get same type attack bonus on the fighting moves meaning its fighting moves will do more damage naturally than what Chimchar would do. And now as you can see here we just got our Monferno and then it will learn Mock Punch. Now what I mean by a priority move is that it will always go first. So not only is it a physical attack meaning it will gain the benefits of power up punch but it will also go first as well. So now we're going to head to the gym and give uh, Roark a good attempt here so uh, his first Pokemon would be a Geodude which is not a problem what the tactic I adopted was going up for power up punch to begin with because I can build up its attack stats so as you can see here he's just about to throw out his Geodude and so what I'm going to go for is power up punch it won't knock out the Geodude but what we're hoping for here is just to increase our attack which it will and that we don't take too much damage so here's power up punch as you can see, it will now do roughly half damage, just, just below half damage, and my attack set has increased, meaning next turn I'll be able to knock it out with the health is at already. And it used Stealth Rock, meaning uh, I took no damage, so this has been an ideal start. So if we go for a power up, power up punch again, I'll knock the thing out, not a problem, and now I'm plus two on attack, meaning when I get around to using Mock Punch, it'll be very, very strong and fast. So there goes Geodude, the first one down nice and simple, next up we've got Onyx to deal with, which you'll see comes out any second, there we are. I don't know why, I think because I, I was doing this whilst I was live streaming, so I uh, probably was chatting to the uh, chat. So what I'm going to go for here is Mock Punch, to try and do big damage. So we're going to go for Mock Punch here and it won't knock it out. Now the reason why I now go for Power Up Punch next is because Roark is either going to use a potion, meaning my attack is basically a free hit and I get my plus, my plus one in attack again, or as you can see here, I just get to take it out and I get my plus one in attack anyway. So now we're going to go into Crany Dose, the, uh, the signature Pokemon for this gym and uh, the strongest one as well with plus three on physical attack and we're gonna have uh we're gonna use mock punch which will be a priority attack meaning that no matter if cranidos outspeeds me i'm gonna go first so plus three in attack and i've got same type attack bonus and i'm gonna go in to go first this should be pretty easy so as you can see now out comes the cranidos here we go and then we're gonna go into the old mock punch here and uh, as you can see now, it doesn't stand a chance. So there we are. That is how to defeat the first gym very easily with your Chimchar. Now on top of all this, there is an alternative route you can take. And that's on route 207 where I was training up my Chimchar. You can actually find wild matchups there. And the wild matchup will know the move low kick. And low kick is a physical fighting move. So it'll be pretty good against this gym as well. The only downside is that matchup is level 6. So you will need to train it up a little bit before it becomes at a competitive level ready for the gym. That is how to defeat the first gym very easily when you've chose Chimchar as your starter on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you're new around here, then I make simple Pokemon guides for all different Pokemon games, so be sure to check them out. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.